Singapore was once part of Malaysia. Even before the formation of the Malaysian Federation, there was no problem with associating Singapore with Greater Malaya, in spite of the fact that the British divided Malaya into three entities, of which Singapore was part of the Strait Settlement and much of Perak from 1895, except for the district of Dinding, was part of the Federated Malay States. Singapore, of course, is also an island separated from the Malay Peninsula. But still, it was often considered as part of Malaya earlier in its history. In fact, in the 19th century, Singapore was the administrative centre of British rule over Malaya, a similar role to that played by Kuala Lumpur and Putrajaya later in Malaysian history. When one goes back in history, at least if one goes back to late 19th century and early 20th century Singapore and Malaya, one realises that if someone in Singapore talked about Perak, where the fictional Bandung was located, one talked about another part of the country and not about a foreign country. In relation to Singapore concerns, let me read a quotation on Suchen Christine Lim's A Bit of Earth by Philip Holden. As you know, Professor Holden is, like Angelia Poon, whose views we heard on an earlier clip, one of the co-editors of your anthology. This quotation appears on the blurb of the novel. According to Professor Holden, The central question explored by a bit of earth, how individuals transform and yet maintain feelings of belonging in a rapidly changing world, is as relevant in Singapore and Malaysia today as it was during the time in which the novel is set. Do you agree with the quotation? Or do you think the central question mentioned here is of inter international significance and not only relevant to Singapore? What are your views on this? I would also like you to think of a historical paradox underlying the two novels that we have done. And I have mentioned this in relation to Gopo Singh's If We Dream Too Long. Although Lim's work is a historical novel, whilst Go's novel is not, Go's novel may be more faithful to history than Lim's work. Now why is this the case? Thank you.